Hi guys, it's Mark from Threshold Media, um, bringing you another C4D tutorial today. Um, it's going to be a very quick one today. I just wanted to talk to you about um, the ball technique in C4D. Um, I do quite a lot of modelling with C4D, making various models, and um, this technique is really useful. I find really useful, um, especially for finer or more complex details. Uh, within your model to make various shapes uh, which are not necessarily easy to create uh, with standard polygon modeling. Um, just to show you what I mean, this is the my current project that I'm working on. Uh, it's a fishing trawler which I'm building within C4D. This is still very much work in progress but I just want to show you really what I was using the ball technique for if you look at these uh, I don't know what you call them holes within the hull which this rope is running through I created this using a uh, filleted box uh, and I placed within the hull polygon and added a ball so it created the hole within the hull uh, and this was I, I did, did this throughout the entire hull to make these um, holes for the rope to run through. Um, this model here, this is just a demonstration to show you uh, what can be done. Um, basically the ball technique means putting uh, shapes together and either subtracting one from the other, adding them together uh, or intersecting them to make the, um, to make the shape that you're after probably easier for me to show you what I mean um, and so we'll, we'll jump right into C4D okay uh, easiest way to show you um, if you just create a box for example it can be any shape you can use balls with any shape you like um, but for this purpose we'll just use a box okay so this will be our palette for want of a better term what we're going to subtract, subtract even, and add shapes to. So there's your box. Um, okay. Next, we'll pick a sphere. Just drag that out slightly and shrink it slightly. So for now, we're just going to use the one object. We have our cube and our sphere. So if we add a ball to our scene, and to do that, you come to this icon here, hold the left mouse button down, and select ball. Then what you need to do is to select both your um, objects and drag them uh, as children of the ball. Now, as you can see, something's already happened. The square has disappeared and we're left with half the sphere. And the reason for that is because the ball is already on a specific setting. So if we go, highlight, click on the ball and we'll, we'll cover some of the, um, the or all of the attributes of the ball. So this is the ball attributes window and as you can see the current setting it's on is A subtract A minus B. So what that refers to is if you imagine the top item within the ball is A and the second item is B. Now just to clarify you can only have two items within a ball. Now that's not to say you, one of these items is uh, one of these items can be a group of objects and I'll go into that later but just just think you can only have two children is probably a better phrase. Um, so we have our ball and at the moment it's set to A minus B so the sphere is A and that is taken away the cube. Okay, so here's our, the outline of our cube. So the, that part of the cube has been taken away from the sphere, leaving us just with that bit of the sphere that's left outside the cube. Now you can move this sphere in and out, and as you can see, as you move it around, more of the sphere is seen as you move it outside of the cube. Okay, so if you render that out, all you're left with is that half of the sphere. 
Right, so if we go back to our attributes manager, you've got four different settings. We'll start from the top, so A, Union B. So if we select that, as you can see, it brings our cube back into view, and what this has done is joined the two together. And as you can see, the polygons have been created within the cube that join uh, our sphere to the cube. So now that is now one complete object. Now, to be fair, that's not a lot different to creating um, the sphere, the sphere, a child of the cube. But what it does do is it creates um, polygons, uh, um, polygons that connect the two. So the, all these polygons are now editable uh, as one object which is far more uh, diverse than just making uh, it a child of the child of this uh, cube. So that's uh, A union B and as you can see if you move the two about it makes no difference. Um, okay back to the settings we'll go for A minus B so this will be the sphere minus the cube which we've already looked at. Um, as you can see it just cuts that bit of the sphere away which was inside the cube. Next one is A intersects B and what this does is um, it, it basically reverses what we had last time so we have everything now which was inside of the cube but not on the outside. So again if you grab your sphere and you can make so then you can make that bigger or smaller as you see fit. And the one I use the most, uh, sorry, before we do that, um, but did it a insect again? If you swap that around, it makes no difference. Um, Yeah, this is what I meant to show you. The previous one, which was A subtract B, if you change the, this is what we had previously, was our, um, our the remainder of our sphere on the outside of the cube. But the one I find useful, which is very similar to the one I had for my, uh, where is it, for my fishing trawler, here, I had the hole set as um, as A, so the hole would have been here and the cube would have been B. So if you imagine this cube in this scenario is the hole and the the holes, or well the object I used to create the holes was B, it created this sort of scene. So what it does, it digs a hole within the cube and creates this this indentation in the cube this would be an absolute nightmare to try and create using just polygons but you can easily create that um, using the ball technique. Now the nice part about this is you can change the shape of your the children of the ball without having to move them or do anything and they don't even have to be editable objects so for example with my sphere selected um, if I reduce the number of segments to change it to a something like a, a diamond for example here you can see as I do that it changes the shape that is um, ingrained or dug out of the, the square or the cube so as you can see we now have a diamond shape in there in fact let's put a light in and we can, we can see the details slightly better let's move that up and to the right slightly add a shadow Zoom in. Yeah, there you go. So you can see all the corners of the diamond are now dug into the into the cube. So back to our ball. So yeah, that's A subtract B. Now the opposite of that is um, A without B. And what that does is it again it creates this shape on the outside. 